Robert E. Howard is well known by many people for his stories of Conan the Barbarian, Cull and Solomon Kane, among many other characters which he created during his short but prolific writing career. His Cormac Fitzgeoffrey creation, however, was one I was unfamiliar with prior to picking up this trade paperback. And what a treat this is. Picture an armoured up Irish version of Conan transported to the Crusades era and fighting anything and everything in his path, mostly solo in a rather grim, politically incorrect tale of revenge. It's just so different to much of what's out there on the comic shelves these days. It instantly grabs you by the throat and demands attention. I really enjoyed the way the book was written, and casting my eye around the web, it seems that Howard fans are in agreement that Michael Allen Nelson, the writer, has captured the essence of their idol's writing in these pages. Meanwhile, Damien Casero's artwork isn't quite how I'd like to see the story drawn, but I can still appreciate its near-sketchy style, with many backgrounds left without detail, save for a wash of colour. It's particularly effective during the action sequences, as it doesn't clutter the page. It must be reinforced, however, that this book isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. As well as violence aplenty, there's the obligatory fair maiden having her clothes ripped off prior to being tortured, racial undertones, and a sense that this is a story out of step with 2010. But, to think of it as a story of 2010 kind of misses the point. Howard was writing in the 1920s and 30s, and his work needs to be seen in that light. It's the kind of book you can easily imagine digging out of an old suitcase from under a grandparent's bed as a child, and reading for the rest of the afternoon, utterly shocked yet delighted at this strange offering that's so different to your day-to-day -day reading. It's that kind of book. Robert E. Howard's Hawks of Outremer is undoubtedly one of the highlights of my recent comic readings.